Welcome to Extra Point, I'm Rob King. We have a lot to talk about today. We're gonna to talk about the New York Jets Fan Hall of Fame. We're gonna talk about mybookie.ag. That's right, they're back, get excited. And we're also gonna talk about week one in the NFL. It's here, how'd your team do? I'll tell you, my team, the Jets, did fantastic. They lost, as expected. 0-16, baby, here we come. Uh, now see, I was in the bar yesterday watching some of the games, and uh, one Jets fan, in quotations, uh, was actually rooting for them to win, which was very upsetting for me, okay? Because he wasn't a true Jets fan. If you're a true Jets fan, right now, this year, you want the madness to stop, okay? You wanna see them just totally tank, as planned, and get maybe Sam Darnold next next year. That's what you want, okay? True Jets fans understand the, the, the long-term game here, and they want the madness to end. I'm talking about butt fumbles, okay? We are the only team, as far as I know, in the history of the NFL, uh, to ever have a, a butt fumble. That's good for What's that? Yeah, the only one. It's been confirmed. There we go. We did it. Tebow, okay? That was a mistake. He's a baseball player and very successful, I think. Or at least he's uh, very popular. <laughs> so good for him. But at a quarterback, no. That doesn't, doesn't work, make sense. Uh, or Favre. Brett Favre was on the Jets. Do you remember that? He, he had a successful career with the Packers. Uh, then he came to the Jets and he became a sexual deviant. Uh, can I say that? Is that wrong? Anyway, he sent out his dick pics. <laughs> that might be going a little too far? Bad. Too far? Okay. Just a smidge. All right, well, too far. Uh, we'll cut that. We won't cut that. Now, I get it. There are many other teams that uh, it's very difficult to be a fan of. For instance, uh, the Buffalo Bills. Four Super Bowls, appearances, four losses. That was tough. Uh, the Texans. <laughs> Tom Savage is your quarterback? Uh, I don't know how, how you are a fan of that team. Or the Browns who, I mean, it's time to call it quits, I think, Browns. You get one more year, and then that's it. Uh, but even though those teams are terrible, kind of, uh, none of them compare to the Jets. The Jets take sucking to a new level. The Jets are what we call in the, the, the betting world a sure thing, or a lock, to lose, okay? Speaking of betting, uh, if you want to make some e easy money and you want to bet against the Jets, even if you're a fan, it's okay, it's acceptable, I'm pretty sure, uh, go to mybookie.ag and put some money down on whatever team the Jets are playing that week. It's easy money, folks. Uh, MyBookie is a sponsor of The Extra Point this week. They are offering a first-time uh, deposit promo using the, uh, the code KICKER. They, if you use the code KICKER, they will match up to 100% of your first-time deposit, which is awesome. Use it, trust me guys, it's a sure thing. Use it to whoever the, <laughs> to bet on whoever the Jets are playing next week and you just made some money. You can thank me later in a sweet, sweet email. I appreciate it. And I appreciate mybookie.ag for sponsoring the extra point. Now the New York Jets know that none of their current players will be in the Football Hall of Fame because of talent uh, or lack thereof. But they still want to give something back to their fans who have stuck with them, right? So they have the New York Jets fan Hall of Fame, which I think I should be a part of. If you are a New York Jets fan and you're willing to admit that in public, uh, you should also be in the Jets Fan Hall of Fame. Um, if you uh, are still can shout Patriots suck, even though they clearly don't, you should be in the Jets Fan Hall of Fame. Uh, if you drafted one of the Jets players in your fantasy league this year, you're stupid, uh, but you are loyal and you should be in the Jets Fan Hall of Fame. Uh, all of those or any of those? What do you mean? You, you any, anything, yeah, really. Money. Yeah, any, there's really, the, the bar's very low very here. Low if you can do any of those things, uh, you should be in the Jets Fan Hall of Fame. Uh, but right now, I need your help, okay? Uh, obviously, I nominated myself to be in the Jets Fan Hall of Fame, duh, right? But uh, you can nominate other people, so I'm hoping that you guys will help me out and nominate me to be in the Jets Fan Hall of Fame. You go to NewYorkJets.com, there's a little link for Hall of Fame. We'll put all the details in the show notes uh, down there somewhere, right? But things you're gonna need from me. Obviously, my name, Robert King. Boom, there it is. Did you not know? Like, are you first? Come on, guys. It's, I say it at the top of every show. Uh, you need my phone number? There it is. You'll need my email address? There it is. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it all out. Oh, you, you need the address? There it is. It's studio address, but still. Uh, the studio address? Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's vulnerable now. <laughs> Look, don't be a weirdo and show up to the office unannounced, okay? Uh, that's creepy. Use this for good purposes, please, okay? Use it uh, on the NewYorkJets.com website when you nominate me for their Fan Hall of Fame. Uh, don't call me. I mean, I love you, but don't call me. That's weird. 
Uh, but <laughs> but uh, you also have to mention why you think I should be in the Fan Hall of Fame. You can make fun of me. Uh, you can say whatever you want. Listen, if you want, if you want to write to the Jets and tell them what a, a jerk I am and how I'm a bad fan, that's your right. That's your right. As long as you don't show up and be weird and creep Jared out, because he hates unannounced <laughs> visitors. Hate unannounced he hates Jets. it so much. Lewis is like, wrap it up, weirdo, wrap it up. Okay, anyway, you get the point. Uh, I'm looking for your nomination for the Jets Fan Hall of Fame. I really appreciate it, and I also appreciate everybody watching the show, uh, liking it, commenting. The engagement is awesome. You guys are, are awesome. Um, and uh, that's it for this week. Anyway, I'm Rob King. Thanks for watching The Extra Point. Please don't show up. Thanks for watching The Extra Point. For more videos from The Kicker, click right up here, or to subscribe, right down there.